Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Gaming and Tech Productions and today I will be showing you guys 4 ways to fix game crashes in Windows 10 or 11. Now in this video I mostly won't just be repeating the generic fixes you'll find on other channels. In this video I will not only provide fixes that actually worked for me, but I will also show some fixes you most likely won't think about while you're running into these issues. Let's get started. Now the first method is opening the game with or without admin permissions. Sadly, the thing that helps you in most occasions can also be unhelpful in others. In some cases, running games with administrator permissions for some reason causes games to just refuse to load or the other way around, running games without admin permissions can cause issues. So find the game that is causing issues for you and then just go here to the actual exe file that it runs from then right click and then click properties and then go to compatibility and then you should see run this program as an administrator now don't enable this unless you know for sure that either you already had it disabled and you were getting crashes or vice versa don't disable this unless you're getting crashes with it enabled now the second method is updating drivers i know this can be considered a generic fix but it is definitely a honorable mention not updating drivers can be a number one cause especially if the game is new and the drivers for that game itself now all you want to do is go into the amd radeon software go to this up arrow click it and then you should see the AMD software's version, but next to it, you should see the status on your GPU's actual drivers. So this right here is not your GPU's drivers. This is the AMD software's version. So for instance, if your software's version is 24.5.1, everything that comes with that software version is put into your GPU, at least from what I know of, it is put inside of your GPU and that is just how you know how new your GPU's drivers are. But if you look next to it, you should see that the status is up to date and the last time I checked was today. So if I just check for updates, you'll see that it just keeps saying up to date and that is basically how you know that it is up to date and you don't need to update your gpu now if you do see it says anything other than up to date just follow what it says update the drivers and you should see a fix if not then you could try some of the other fixes in this video the third method is removing overclocks i know a lot of people love to push their gpu or cpu to its full potential but this can definitely cause game crashing and sometimes even full system crashes so if you're an amd gpu just go to performance go to tuning and then go under manual tuning and instead of clicking custom you want to go all the way over here to automatic tuning and click default and that should reset everything back to its stock or default settings that it comes with whenever you first get your gpu but this can definitely have issues and i personally think the reason why you may get crashes from having a overclock on your gpu or cpu is just simply from your gpu or cpu overheating your system seeing that or the application seeing that and then it just closes the game to save your gpu and as i said you can also get full system crashes if you have overclocked too high in your system does not like it at all and then you'll end up having to restart your system or reboot your system just to get back into windows because it completely turned off everything last but not least the final method is uninstalling windows updates this is definitely a unique method of fixing crashes which has just recently fixed a game crash i was getting on elder ring this is a method that almost no one will think about and most people won't even know that this is possible i definitely didn't so all you need to do is go to your settings and then you want to go to update history and then you scroll down and you should see uninstall updates once you do that you'll see all of the updates that you can uninstall i had more than this i had maybe two that i uninstalled and it fixed all of my issues with Elden ring and any other game so with Elden ring i was getting a 0xc000005 error and of course i did not know what was causing that and then all i did was just go here click uninstall on the two latest ones and you want to look at the ones that 
say that they are just a general Windows update. If you look at something like security update for Microsoft Windows, you could try that because security updates can cause crashes because it might be blocking some type of data transfer between the game. So you can try this, but things like Microsoft Visual C++ updates, those most likely won't cause any issues just because if anything, it would help the game. But if you want to find a update that is causing the issue, you want to look at security updates or you want to look at general updates and just uninstall those, restart your system, and then come back. If the game still has crashes, then you want to try one of the other fixes that I shown in this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.